serious is this? Well, this could have been much, much worse. Uh, you know, you do a lot of stories, Emily, about the cutthroat industry that we have here in the tech sector. Uh, but this is a great story about, for the last six months, uh, technology companies across the sector, uh, software companies like Microsoft and Apple and Google and uh, uh, tech ma uh, manufacturers, chipset manufacturers like AMD and Intel and cloud providers coming together and really working very, very hard to put out a fix, a mitigation for this problem that has impacted processors that have been built over the last 20 years. And and if this vulnerability had come out publicly earlier, we would have been in much worse shape. However, now um, m most of the cloud providers have been patched, which was really the nightmare scenario that data in the cloud that we all store in some form or fashion, either, either from our phones or by using those cloud services directly, uh, would have been compromised by bad guys. That said, you know, it's unlikely that everyone is going to, you know, use the updates that uh, have been provided. Um, and, you know, there are some who are saying you can't protect yourself unless you buy new hardware and that hardware likely doesn't even exist. So, you know, what about that? Well, it's true that in the end, this has to be solved in hardware, but it will take likely three, four, five years before the new chips are designed and built that will actually mitigate against this problem. However, the software fixes that are available now for most of the operating systems and applications that need to be patched, uh, there are a few that are still coming out, but uh, most of the patches are out now, um, they can mitigate the problem. The problem with these fixes is that they can have a performance impact um, on your system. On modern computers, computers that have been manufactured in the last five years, years, um, that, that problem is not going to be that, that uh, significant. It's probably, at worst case, about 5% performance degradation. But on older hardware, it can be significantly worse. Now, we're just seeing a new report from the register that Qualcomm processors are also uh, affected by this flaw. How surprising is that? It really is not because this technique of essentially for processors to figure out predictively what instructions to execute in order um, to optimize uh, the, the execution of these instructions is something that all these processor, uh, processors have been doing really for decades. It's been a standard design uh, consideration. It's not, uh, th this particular vulnerability is not a flaw in, in the code. It's really something that everyone has been doing and we just now figured out uh, that it presents a serious security problem.